Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me at Mr. Randy Smith Babies. Also guys, if you're not following me on Facebook, my Facebook page is Mr. Randy Smith and you just need to hit that follow button and follow me there. Um, that is where I try my hardest to post my babies when they're available for sale. If they don't sell before then. Um, also the other place where I post my babies right away for sale is in the chatterbox. Now you can become a member for only $4.99 a month. 30 days. That's like 20 cents a day. Okay, I don't know. I didn't do the math. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> but, um, girl, it's something like that. It's like peony. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, anyway. But, yeah, you should definitely join the Chatterbox because we are the littest crew. Okay? It's the best paid membership in the world. No, I'm just playing. Okay, maybe so. Um, anyhow, anywho, I came on here to talk about YouTubers. Yeah, YouTubers. <laughs> youtubers yeah um so you know a lot of people look at youtubers and are like oh they have all these different things like oh they're weird or all oh, youtubers do too much we're full of drama we this we're that youtube is like reality tv for most people i mean a lot of our lives are on display some of us share personal stories some of us share you know just fictional stuff some of us channels are fully just role play. Um, and I'm talking more specifically in, you know, the doll world. But this does apply to YouTube all around the world and all different types of communities. Because I do follow a lot of other communities. But, um, you know, I just want to talk about some of the misconceptions about YouTubers. A lot of people think that if you're a YouTuber, you play with your dolls, you overly use your dolls, you do the most with your dolls. And I want to be the first to say that that is not true for everyone. You do get to see some YouTubers putting their babies in swimming pools, feeding them mashed potatoes, giving them formula. You do see some of that stuff. However, I would like to say on behalf of my fellow YouTubers that do this kind of stuff, I'm not judging you boo-boos, but I'm just saying, I'm not saying it is good to do that and that it's okay either, but what I am saying is that at least those people are upfront with what they're doing with their dolls. You get to see if they're giving their babies mashed potatoes, if they're putting their babies in a, a chlorine pool, you get to see that. A lot of these people that's behind closed doors that never post their babies, never do. You don't know what these people doing. They could be breastfeeding their babies. They could be potty training their dolls. They could be, you know, getting up all through the night, rocking and feeding and, you know, breastfeeding. <laughs> and what? Girl, they could be doing anything. Y'all don't know that. But y'all be quick to come, up, come at us. YouTubers, baby, leave us alone. We ain't did nothing to you but make you laugh. Or... Maybe make you cuss at the screen sometime. Or maybe be like, girl, shut up. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, you're still watching. Eh? Okay. So, I like to clear that up. First of all, first of all, boo-boo. <laughs> My babies don't get rough handled, baby. These are real babies up in here. Like, I treat my babies like I treat, well, I handle them like real babies. Because, baby, if they was real children... Baby, the, the child protective service and, and everybody else will be asked for me because, baby, I be leaving them up in here for days with the same diaper on, weeks, months, same clothes. Some of these children y'all ain't never seen. Like, it's just, you know, so that is not true. The other thing is, do people buy dolls and have constant box openings and stuff like that to draw in audience and for the hype of the crowd of youtube and all that maybe so some people maybe do that and that is okay because if that's what their entertainment is you know you think about these people that get these toys and they do reviews 
They don't play with, you think these adults sitting here playing with G.I. Joe? No, they review them, they move it on. Some of them are getting free merchandise. Some of them, you know, it's just the whole shebang bang. You know what I mean? Um, so some of them rotate, rotate out. I was thinking to myself today, I was like, you know, I do seem, I could go and change all my, change up, do a change of video every day for at least maybe 20 days or 25 days without repeating the baby if I change every single baby. I realized that where I don't really love having too many babies, where I don't have a place for them individually to sit, I actually do like the fact that I have multiple babies because it does allow me to not always have to act interact with the same baby on my channel and you guys might not get bored of seeing the same baby. However, don't get me wrong, I have loved watching channels that have just one baby and have had that same baby forever and ever because that baby becomes very real. Like it becomes that person child and like you when you don't see that baby, you feel like, "Hey, something is something is 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 going on here. Where's the baby?" You know what I mean? So um, yeah, but I was thinking to myself, I was like, how does YouTube influence us to buy more dolls, especially as YouTubers are, are we like more prone to buy more dolls than the average collector? I think it's a yes and a no. I think it's yes because... <laughs> And YouTube watchers, too. I think because we see the babies, you know, for one, for the watchers, we see the, all these babies and they look so great and we just love them. And I'm a watcher and a YouTuber, so I'm speaking for both sides. I be like, oh, I want to have that scope or I want to see that scope in this skin tone or, oh, what if they had used this hair or that hair, you know. So I think for me... I would say yes. I think if I stay off of YouTube or Facebook and don't be on there as much or Instagram, I wouldn't buy as many dolls. Also, as a YouTuber, I think sometimes, you know, I buy babies and I'll be like, oh, this baby's going to be so great for being on my channel because it'll add something new. I think it does play in my head, but not necessarily in the process of if I will buy this baby. I don't go out and say, oh, this is going to be the perfect baby for YouTube. No. I fall in love with a baby, but I'm like, oh, and this, you know, and then in the back of my mind, once I get the baby, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to love, you know, doing changing videos with this baby on my channel. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like that thing. And then sometimes it's like, I justify keeping a baby, even though I don't interact with it. I'm like, well, you know, it's still nice to be able to switch in and out for my channel, different babies. I don't know. We come up with all types of things. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I think we come up with all types of things just because we're really, truly just addicts. <laughs> Girl, I ain't addicted. You got a doll like a bad. <laughs> Who are we? You know what I mean? Like doll collectors, we're just people that's just relaxed. We're okay. Most of us is comfortable in our own skin. We know we're weird to other people, but to us, they're weird because why you don't like these dolls? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like what's wrong with you that you got a thing against innocent looking babies? Like you're weird. <laughs> like, like they, you know, people be like, so, so why would you want that? Why wouldn't you want it? <laughs> You know, you gotta, you know, that's the, my mindset right now. Anyway, you guys, Tyler looking real flat and pasty on it right now. I don't know what's going on with me and Tyler, but I love my Tyler, but all of a sudden, like, t now I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, Tyler, I don't like you right now. Like, oh my gosh. And I shouldn't tear my myself down on camera like this, but... I am going crazy. I started rooting this baby. I am, as you can see, halfway done. Like, he doesn't have the back of his head done. Some of the back is done and some of the other side is done. But the first front of the head is done. I do not like the hair that I chose for him. But maybe once I go and do the hairline and stuff and 
it's not a girl and and he's not going to be a girl because he's my Tyler and I love this baby like I am so in love I was so in love with this baby but I don't know I, I'm just wanting to hurry up and get done with him and maybe once he gets his eyebrows too that might be another big deal and I might have to do thicker eyelashes and stuff like that and you know like I said once I do the hairline and all that maybe and you know cut the hair I might have to cut the hair much shorter to really like bond with him because now that he's getting hair I'm losing my bond but um yeah but it's I mean it's it's <laughs> that didn't help did it it's nice um really pretty hair and it's really pretty curls but it's not I should have went with a either a tighter curl or a looser hair but anyway nevertheless you see him now but when you see him later he may look totally different because girl what we gonna figure that out we got to we got to work this out because baby he he cannot have a head full of hair but still have to be a hat baby because i don't want to let him go i really don't i love this baby but the light is not doing him any justice right now or maybe that's just what he looked like i don't know let me see yeah I don't know, but I'm, I'm actually, I don't know. I love, I love this baby though. See how this part lays down. I should have did his whole head like that. And I should have rooted it in a different style maybe, but it is what it is. Um, we gonna make it work. Um, and then we're gonna, we gonna come back with Tyler and listen, he is not gonna be looking like nobody grandmama in the end, baby. Cause what you ain't gonna do is talk about my baby. But yeah, anyway. I'm just having fun with you guys but at the same time I do want you guys to walk away with this let me tell y'all what to walk away with in this video because y'all be picking out y'all be stuck on everything but the right thing like y'all get stuck on like I told y'all that bubble gum mm, she said she don't like bubble gum that's how y'all y'all be stuck on the wrong thing so let me put y'all back on the focus okay let me tell you what the focal point was the focal point was is that youtubers may seem crazy but they ain't no more crazy than anybody else in this community we just show our crazy for the whole world to see okay okay okay, okay. write that down okay now go home and tell your piece of pamper when grandmama did i said <laughs> i'll just play it oh gosh somebody gonna be mad she said yeah my grandma she's talking about my grandmama oh lord okay focus let's not focus on the bubble gum all right the point is is that youtubers are just regular collectors trying to have fun and entertain other collectors other artists and that's what it is and that's it that's all it is on period <laughs> Oh, what she said on um, period <laughs> okay 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 all right let me stop um so anyway i'm so proud of myself though because i rooted bubbles with some super fine hair okay that hair was so fine i thought i would that baby was gonna have super super thick hair and no it's full but it didn't come out as thick as i thought it was gonna be because the hair is super fine. And I was talking to another artist and I was like, whew, I'm glad I don't think I'm crazy. Because she was like, I don't like rooting with that hair because it's so fine and it takes forever. And I was like, I was wondering why it was taking me so long and it was feeling like, why can't I get there? <laughs> so anyway, but I was so happy that I got her rooted and then I got Jasmine rooted. And now I'm rooting this big old baby head. I thought this baby head was small because of the shape of the head. But I, me, I was talking to somebody else, another artist, and child lately I've been talking to all these different artists. I don't know what's going on with me, but um, I was like, okay, this baby head is way bigger than what I thought. I'm finna measure it, so I, I whipped out my measuring tape. This baby head almost 15 inches. I said, baby, listen, baby, look over here, baby. That's why it's taking me forever, but. I'm so proud of myself because I've only been rooting for a couple days and I've had things I had to do and I have still have things I have to do and my goal is to finish 
his hair by no later than tomorrow okay guys tomorrow will be meaning wednesday also guys stay tuned check out me come back to my channel if you don't come back no other time come back this weekend because i am going to go live okay because i am going to tell you guys something that i have not told you guys yet but i'm going to tell you guys live and I want you guys to come see me. So if you got to the end of this video, baby, <laughs> hashtag tag team Lola, cause y'all is what makes <laughs> me keep coming back. Y'all my other addiction. I love my Lolas. Bye y'all. See you later next time. Don't forget this weekend, come see me. Okay? I'm gonna be live and we're gonna talk.